In this video, I am going to tell you about a different kind of model, which is Colbert. Normally, we install and play around with large language models or vision language models, but this one is a retrieval model. And that is what we are going to install in this video and we will be playing around with it to see what exactly is the utility of these models. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Look, before I show you the hands-on and installation and play around, let's first try to understand exactly what, what is Colbert and then how it is different from LLMs in as simple words as possible. I'm not expecting you to be any sort of machine learning or AI engineer. So bear with me while I try to explain it in as simple and easy words as possible. Colbert is a retrieval model which is fundamentally different from large language models in both purpose and design. While LLMs like GPT-4 or Claude or Llama are designed to generate human-like text and have conversations, Colbert's is specifically built to find and rank relevant documents or passages based on how well they match a search query. Think of LLMs as conversational partners that can write, reason and chat, while Colbert is more like a very sophisticated search engine that understands the meaning behind your question. Colbert works by converting both your search queries and the documents into mathematical or numerical representations called as embeddings and then uses a special technique called as maxim to calculate how similar those are. This makes it extremely fast and accurate at finding the most relevant information from large collection of documents. Now this model we are going to install with something called as Pilate. Pilate is a Python lib library that makes it very very easy to use Colbert models for document retrieval tasks. Think of Pilate as a toolkit that handles all the complex technical details of running Colbert models. So developers don't have to build everything from scratch. Pilot models are Colbert models that have been packaged and optimized to work seamlessly with this library. And this library provides simple commands which we are going to use very very soon in this video. Now one last bit before I start the installation. We now know what Colbert model is. But what exactly is this specific model GTE modern Colbert? GTE Modern Colbert is a specific pilot model that combines the retrieval capabilities of Colbert with a modern high performance based model called as Modern BERT. And we have been covering these BERT models for a long time on the channel. And I can tell you things have moved quite a bit in the recent uh, months, I would say. So I have done various videos on Modern BERT already. So that is why I'm quite excited to check out this uh, new model. Because this model particularly has been trained on a large data set called as MS Marco and BGE to be exceptionally good at understanding English text and finding relevant matches. What makes it special is, it, is its ability to handle both short queries up to 32 tokens and longer documents around I would say 8000 plus token and documents while producing very compact 128 dimensional embeddings so let's now get it installed i'm going to use this ubuntu system and i have one gpu card nvidia rtx 6000 with 48 gpu of vram i'm starting by creating this virtual environment with conda if you are also looking to rent a gpu on very affordable price you can find the link to their website of mass compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. So please do check them out. Let's go back to our Conda environment, which should be done any second now. Now, as I said, it is based on Pilot. So we need to install this Pilot library. This is going to take a few seconds. While that happens, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Matrix. Matrix lets you create a realistic world simulator where you can run repeated simulations as A-B tests for your marketing captions 
that allows marketers to test different angles and strategies and please check them out their link is in video's description okay so everything is now installed let me now show you how you can use this model i'm going to show you the code which i have taken from their hugging face model card and i will drop the link to it in video's description so let's first try to understand that code let me open it in vs code okay so i have done very minor cosmetic changes in the code to make sure that i use it with some representative data now what is happening in this code is very simple first we are downloading the model which is this modern colbert then we are initializing this voyager index here and if you are wondering about what exactly this voyager index is it's a very high performance vector database that uses uh, something called as hnsfsw algorithm to store and search through document embedding efficiently and because we will be generating the numerical representation or embedding we need to store it somewhere and for that we are using this voyager index with you can see that uh, with this pilot uh, function it comes out of the box we are importing it from pilot we are downloading the model we are instantiating our voyager index and this is what we are going to do with it so let's suppose we have given it some document ids and these are all of our documents so we have five documents if i just scroll to the right you will see i have just put in some random text here you can of course replace it with your own actual documents and from there we are creating uh, the numerical representations of those queries and document uh, sorry those documents we are adding those documents to our voyager index and then we are initializing the retriever here which would actually retrieve um, the information after matching it with these queries from those documents and then we are uh, again create uh, you know encoding it after that we are getting the score set if the queries match with these documents or not and then we are displaying the result here so all all in all what this code is doing it is primarily demonstrating a complete document retrieval pipeline using this modern colbert model so let's go to our terminal and then run this let me clear the screen and then let's run this app.py and you see the first time when you run it it downloads the model so let's wait it's a very lightweight one so i'm going to run it in front of you let's wait so first time it downloads the model as we saw and then subsequently it just loads it from your uh, cache there you go so it already completed the whole test let me try to explain the output here so it first loaded the model and i think that it is already except working exceptionally well for semantic document retrieval looking at the results if you just let me allow to scroll down query one about ai helping doctors correctly retrieve the healthcare document tech one with the highest score of 30.12 and you can see that query two also worked very well and then found the quantum computing doc document which is tech two as a top match with 29.67 and query 3 about blockchain uh, applications also retrieved very correctly the blockchain document tech 3 with highest score of 30.3 um, very very nice and then similarly it worked really well for the last test to query 5 too so i think it is really uh, exceptionally well the similarity scores are all quite high ranging from about 28 to 30 that in indicates strong semantic understanding and the fact that each query's top result correspond to the expected document and that shows the model's ability to capture nuanced meaning and context rather than relying on simple word overlap so very very impressive i would say even better than modern word which we covered few months back now if you're wondering about vram consumption so what i'm going to do i'm just going to run it in live and we will check out the vram consumption so i'm just going to put it here this window let's run this i don't you can even run it easily on cpu and let's run this and then we are going to check out the vram consumption as it starts 
so you see it is just consuming uh, 1153 MB of VRAM easily runnable on CPU so that's it I hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think and by the way there are uh, also reason modern cobalt available if you're interested in learning about that I will be also covering it soon but same way you run all these pilot based models so that's it let me know what you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching